Thank you so much for joining me today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. So something I'm really excited to kind of get into. So this is from the guys over at Bourbon Pursuit, the podcast. Uh, Kenny and Ryan have kind of been working for the last you know couple of years developing these uh, their brands, things along those lines. And this specifically is now their Pursuit United uh, Bourbon. This is going to be specifically their batch two. Uh, really excited to kind of get into this. I wasn't able to try the, the original batch, uh, but have tried through this a little bit and just kind of very excited uh, to kind of bring you guys this today. It's something a little bit different. It's a blend or mingling of three different mash bills coming from three different states, uh, specifically Kentucky, Indiana, and the state of New York. So you'll see kind of how these uh, develop as we go through the review. Uh, but again, what is this specifically? So uh, again, the guys from uh, Bourbon Pursuit podcast, this is the Pursuit series, or excuse me, the Pursuit United um, uh, Bourbon Whiskey. So comes in batch two again, 108 proof or 54% ABV. Uh, mash bill in this undisclosed. Again, it's a blend of three different mash bills from three different states. Uh, it is non-age stated and the MSRP on this is right around that $65 price point. Uh, it is distributed throughout um, approximately a few four or five uh, states. Hopefully their distribution will start to get out a little bit more just as they begin to grow uh, a little bit more as well. So, uh, but really excited to kind of get into this. So let's, uh, let's start with the, uh, the color. So as you can see, kind of a nice, you know, medium copper, like light mahogany type of color. Uh, really, really like that. Move the whiskey around in the glass a little bit. Pretty decent oils for the most part on there. Not overly oily, but uh, not not bad at all. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into the uh, into the nose. So right away, there's this rich, deep, like fresh caramel note. Really nice, like sweet, rich oak. Uh, it's already got this like um, like a complexity type of of nose to it, meaning there's like that reach, that rich something deep that's there. Really nice baking spices. Um, a bit of like a like a graham cracker note on that as well. Yeah, almost like a graham cracker crust, something. Slight nutty characteristic to it. Not overly nutty, not when we get into some of those other distilleries where it's very distinctive in terms of their profile. It's not that at all. Uh, really nice dark uh, dark chocolate, not an overly sweet dark chocolate either. So there's not that super sweet, you know, hit that you get from like a dark chocolate. Uh, even a touch of some citrus and the citrus part of it, it's kind of, it, it feels like it's still developing. So right now I want to say a little bit of like an orange citrus, but there could be a little bit of like a, a lemon that's there as well. Yeah, there's like, um, it's bright, like there's a tartness that's there. So it'd be like kind of like a, maybe even like a lemon lime that also has a little bit of that orange uh, citrus with some of the sweetness that's there. Definitely more of the oak that starts to come out in, the, uh, in this. Um, it's not overly oaky, but it is present. But it's more of like a, a sweet oak. Uh, it's not that like kind of dry uh, extra aged type of oak. There's a sweetness that's there to it. Uh, even like a nice, like maybe like a vanilla buttercream. I don't want to go as far as saying like a creme brulee. I don't think it's quite that intense. Uh, maybe even a pastry note too. This is maybe going back to that, that kind of graham cracker crust as well, but there's maybe a slight bit of uh, pastry on this. Little black pepper there right at the end. little cinnamon really nice nose so far it'll be really interesting to kind of get into this a little bit see how this is developing i've had this open now for about 10 15 minutes leading up to the uh review just to kind of let it breathe a little bit kind of let it shine so to speak all right let's give this a try cheers
Wow. So right away, there's this rich, creamy, caramel butterscotch, nice sweet oak presence to it. There's actually like immediately, just off the first sip, a complexity, like a complexity factor. Very rich, really nice baking spices on that. But again, that rich, like fresh caramel, like, you know, like a warm caramel. Definitely more orange citrus than there was the lemon lime aspect that I was getting on the nose. This is more on the sweeter side. The palate has so far been a little bit sweeter. Don't get me wrong, it's not overly sweet. Uh, there's a nice balance with that sweet oak, really nice spice, that nice rich caramel, that fresh caramel note that's there. Still some like underlying vanillas. Yeah, the, the chocolate factor in this has gone a little bit more um, of a, a milk chocolate. There's a, a sweeter chocolate note that's there. Very creamy. Uh, mouthfeel, fairly oily, uh, not overly viscous by any means. Uh, it's that proof at 108 proof, it's drinking for me, I think under that a little bit. Uh, so it can maybe sneak up on you a little bit, but it's still letting you know there's some proof there. It's just not overly dominating on the proof factor. Nice, rich, dark fruits start to come out a little bit more on that. A little more of that nuttiness that's there as well in that. Maybe even, um, again, I'm going to kind of reference back to the, the nose where there's that honey graham cracker. That starts to kind of come out a little bit more in this as you sip on it and it sits on the paddle a little bit more. Definitely more like dark fruits, almost like a like a stewed fruit where it's not overly heavy, heavy on the fruits, but maybe where it's been like baked um, and you get a little bit maybe less impact, if that makes sense. They're there. They're just a little more muted, not overly dominant by by any means. Love the lingering baking spice that's there on this. But the one thing in my mind, that sweet oak, that fresh caramel, nice vanillas, more of a milk chocolate aspect, orange citrus, lingering spice, nice baking spices on this. It's, it's got this what I like or look for in a bourbon, the complexity, the layers of things. So this for me would be one of those bourbons that I think as you let it sit out or you sip on it throughout the night, you'll start to pull out a few more things in this. This is one of those really nice, rich, complex, you know, bourbons. Um, you know, is it going to blow you away? I don't think it's gonna blow you away, but it's very, very good, I would say. So, in, and one that I would, in all honesty, have two bottles of it. I really think it's that good from the standpoint, you know, at that price point for what this is. Um, you know, I, I think they've done a really, really nice job with this one. I think it's a really, really nice bourbon. I know that's not like super official in terms of like, uh, you know, a rating or anything, but in terms of like how I would interpret this or my scale of, you know, recommending bourbons or whatever, I think this is definitely on the buy scale. And for me, I would have a backup of it. I think it's that good. So I'll, I'll definitely be looking for that backup bottle um, of this for sure. So finish wise, I would say you're probably in that like medium, maybe slightly above medium. Again, like I described on the palate, there's a lot of those rich caramels, that sweet oak, that milk chocolate, a little bit of that orange uh, zest. Some nice lingering baking spices. It's got a lot of traditional uh, bourbon profile notes, but just amped up slightly. And, and I think they've really done a great job. And, and what I think how this bourbon has kind of come to life is, 
you know, Kenny and Ryan, first and foremost, are, you know, bourbon enthusiasts. Uh, you know, so before they started, you know, getting into the, the bourbon game, they've had their, their uh, podcast, Bourbon Pursuit, and they do a great job with that. But in terms of them starting out, they knew what they wanted as bourbon lovers first. So I think that transition over to them starting their new brand and, and kind of putting these out has kind of translated very well into that. So I think they've done a, a fantastic job of kind of nailing this bourbon in this market. I think at the price point of $65, definitely give it a buy recommendation. I would say buy a backup of this. I think it's that good uh, for the most part. So there you have it. I hope that this helps a little bit. Again, if you're looking to find out a little bit more about the Pursuit United uh, Batch 2 Bourbon, there you have it. I, I think they've done, like I said before, a fantastic job. It's worth definitely buying a bottle. My recommendation would be you're going to like it enough that you're going to want a backup bottle of that. So again, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my reviews. Uh, greatly appreciate all of that, the support. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. If you'd like to support the channel, you can uh, through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below. In addition to that, it also allows you to become part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, where Jason from the Mash and Drum and I have teamed up to kind of put a, this whiskey club together. Uh, we bring this to our patrons only. So if that's of interest, go ahead and check that out in the link uh, below. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.